Hi, I'm Beverly Welch, and we're here at the Arbor Gate today in Tomball, Texas. I'm joined by my dear friend, Ann Wheeler, of Long House Herbs. Summertime is growing close to an end, so we've got these great summer herbs in our garden, lush and full. What do we do? Everybody wants to know what to do with their beautiful basil. They're thinking also about how they can make some space in their garden for right. those cool season herbs that are coming in. So my suggestion is the following. Okay. First of all, throughout the growing season, it's a really good idea to be pruning your basil. And you, you always prune where you see some a division of the stem and some new little leaves coming up. So we should have been pruning all through the season. Absolutely. Why is that so important? Because it, ha it encourages the plant to produce more leaves, and that's what we want. And what about blooming? Do we want to let it bloom? It's your choice. Okay. I let it bloom because I like the pollinators that come in right. to the garden. Right. So Basil we should plant one for them and one for one us? One for them and one for us. They, it's a great, great pollinator attractor. Okay, great. Okay, so throughout the summer, you've been doing this and uh, just clipping away and encouraging your basil to make more stems and more leaves all along. The more we cut, the more we produce. That's right. Okay. And when we get to the summertime, the September period, right. even before then, let's say you've done a little pruning and you have a little hand, double handful of leaves like this, uh -huh. you can put them in a measuring cup. You may get up to two cups. Um, hard press, which is the ideal recipe for a whole batch. Now, I noticed you put some of the stems in there, the tender stems. Is that all right? Absolutely. If I can pinch it with my thumbnail, it's I, soft I, and tender. It's soft and tender. Okay. So here we have the the basic idea is some basil leaves and just a small amount of oil. And I'm using Texas pecan oil today. It's a wonderful alternative to olive oil. And sometimes you don't want that olive oil flavor okay. in your basil paste. All right, all right, all right. So where we're headed, just FYI, is a package of basil in oil, blended in oil, okay. like this, in your freezer, just a bag, air pressed out in your freezer, to use all throughout the year. So we just literally break off what we want to use just throughout the winter and it tastes like it's fresh picked. Tastes like it and smells like it. Your kitchen will take you right back to July. Really? It's wonderful. So Very how fresh. long will it last like this in the freezer? I really never have used any that was more than a couple of years old. But still. But still, um, I'll, I'll admit that this one is dated on the back 2006. Oh, wow. It was hiding at the bottom of my freezer. <laughs> it will not be used in, in the food preparation. Right. But just so you know, up here at this table, we can still smell the basil. Well, so, this is uh, great information. Fast, simple, a good way to preserve our fresh summer taste all through the winter. All through the winter. And you free up that spot in the garden for something Right, because it's going to be time to plant the parsley and cilantro soon. Yes. Great. Thank you so much, Anne. You're welcome. And thank you.